Sometimes I like to listen to the city's pulse. I hear it best when the people are asleep, and when I'm alone. It was a warm night, and I wanted to feel the breeze on my face. I took a walk through the first garden we planted inside these walls, to remind myself how far we've come. We've made so many sacrifices since those early days, but with the green of that garden and the murmur of the city we built up around it, I could be at peace for a little while. Have you ever felt someone's eyes watching you, Guardian? You might not believe it, but I knew he was there before I saw him. I turned, and there he was, Aldrin Sov, his spirit haunting me. Then he shouted a warning, and something snapped in the trees behind me. I spun around, my gun in hand, before I realized I'd won it. It all happened so fast. A cabal assassin, one of Keitel's, no doubt. When I looked back for Prince Eldrin, he was gone. Was it a troubled spirit? A hallucination? I wasn't sleeping well before. Now I'm not sure I will at all. Commander, an attack on your life within our own walls, in the streets where the city's children play. I wish it surprised me. Every minute we waste, our enemies grow bolder. I saw it with the Warlord Zavala. Give them slack, and they'll hang you with it. You must act. Remind our enemies that there are consequences when darkness breaches our walls. Remind the people why they put their faith in the Guardians. This attack was just a taste. Next time, they'll target someone else, someone you can't save. That loss will be on you. The weight of it will crush you. Trust me. There was an assassin within the walls of the last city, and no one knew until it was almost too late. Luck was on our side. Next time, it won't be. What we must do now is channel our light into a clean, burning fury and raise the Cabal Empire to ashes. Zavala may still have hope for a peaceful resolution, but he hasn't seen what I have. I'm still an Iron Lord. I'll be in the fray exacting retribution. When you're ready, you should be too. You were seen. At that distance, in the dark, no. Enough to put a name to a dead man's face. The commander told Ikora. Thankfully, he passed you off as a hallucination. An assassin was inside our walls. I had to do something. This isn't the first time an enemy has infiltrated the city. And it won't be the last. Your concern is noted, but far from a crisis. An attempted assassination isn't a crisis? Zavala is quite capable of dispatching a lone scion. He was distracted, soon to be lightless. If I wasn't unmasked, didn't the spider teach you that even small mistakes bring large consequences? I suppose you learned that chasing Zivu Arath. Choose your next words wisely. I should have kept my mask on. 
But I don't regret acting. I still think Zavala's in danger. That is why I'm embedding you as his bodyguard. Is that wise? We need to draw in their assassins, and a full security outfit is too obvious. Keep your mask on, always. Do not speak. Can I trust you to handle this with discretion? The utmost. Good timing. I was just looking for you. My mask was in my hand. Stupid, I know, but I felt... safe. I thought I could just relax for a minute. It was a mistake. Osiris tells me the commander always talks about making the hard choice. Reveal myself or let him die. Whatever I chose, someone would still say I was wrong. I'm sure you've lost people. Racked your mind for how it could have been different. Too far away to act, but close enough to wonder. If you could have stopped it, wouldn't you? No matter the cost. I've been at the mercy of something I couldn't stop, without knowing why. Blind in a nightmare. I didn't want to be the reason for more pain. The next time they come for the commander, they'll have to get through me. Mask or no mask. Just... Don't tell Osiris I said that. <laughs> 